as a as a space that really loves cooking classes and doing it in person, was it difficult to have almost an entire year where you could you just couldn't have people come in and learn with you guys? Yeah, yeah. Because again, that's how the French Kitchen was born, just cooking classes for five years. It's not it's not been the easiest. Over 2020, this bakery, cafe, boutique, and classroom had to shut the doors to the classroom portion more than once and for months. When we had to stop, it was it was like a little hole in your heart. <laughs> Without students regularly coming in, the kitchen had to diversify, adding delivery, widening the menu. Totally changed the kitchen from mostly a bakery kitchen to a a uh, kitchen that can do everything. But now, as of recently, the students are back. Yes, we just started classes back last week, and I have three in-person classes and two virtual classes, all scheduled for this week alone. The in-person classes filled with exuberant chefs, the online classes, a recent but popular addition in December, allowing those who can't come in or who moved away a chance to continue with a familiar French food foundation. And we have some people who have moved out of town, in different states, different countries, and now they come back to us through the online classes, which is amazing. I did not expect that. The kitchen is open, the students are back, the relationships are important. We've built a family, so it's more than just cooking, it's really that social aspect of it that I love, that when I started back nine years ago, I did not see coming. We, we are a family and we are a sort of a community base where People come to our live classes to interact. The hope going forward is consistency, the ability to host classes uninterrupted, build culinary confidence in these visiting Coloradans. The more and more interest happens, then that's where we're going to go. Watching out for you, Colorado Springs, John McMichael, News 5.